while staying at Calhoun Falls State Park on Independence Day, we also rode down to Baker Creek State Park in McCormick. Uh, this is one that we've seen a lot of talk about on some social media sites, so we wanted to see it for ourselves. There's been a lot of like, it looks great now, it doesn't look great now. So we were just kind of curious to see what it looked, what yeah, we thought about it. Uh, it is the only seasonal state park in South Carolina. They close it during the winter and it is open uh, March 1st to September 30th. Right. So it's yeah, a little more than half of the year it's open, uh, which which is unique in, in South Carolina because most of our parks are, are year round. Um, we were a little surprised when we drove in. Um, it's a it's a big park. It's, it's very spread out. It's 1,300 acres. It's on Lake Strom Thurmond, so you would expect little peninsulas and points and kind of having a meandering road. It was a meandering road in. Yes. Uh, it was like, a, are we on the right road? Is this <laughs> the way to go? Um, the GPS first tried to get us, I think, to the boat dock, so we weren't yeah. even sure we were in the right, in the right space. space. It, yeah, it was um, a little confusing. And it's very just long, windy road in. And while I knew that they had been remodeling the campground because they had posted about it and I've seen a lot of people say that over the winter they were remodeling the campground to add 50 amps to all the sites. As we got closer to the campground, the construction became more and more evident. And let, we're going to preface this with, we all we know from just experiences and projects and things that it's always really messy in the middle. So we feel like we we got in, we were there in the messy in the middle. middle. We feel like we were in the middle, even though uh, I think that their their idea was they were going to be done and have all the remodels complete before the spring season hit. And I think the remodels are mostly done. We only saw maybe two or three sites that were They're still closed. closed, still closed. But the like secondary cleanup, haul off. I mean, there were lots of places where there were just where trees had just been just bulldozed piles into piles, uh, where there was very uneven terrain, uh, very rough, even. Even still, some of the road had some, some bumps and ruts and... Things may be created by the construction. Right. Uh, now, when we got back to Calhoun Falls, we were talking to a ranger here about it, and he said part of the problem was that it rained so much this winter that the contractors weren't able to work almost half of the time that they planned on working. So they, they so, did, so we are still in the messy middle. So we're, we're in the middle of the messy middle. Uh, I will say, my, my, old, my boss used to always tell me years ago, that in order to make an omelet, you have to break eggs. And unfortunately, it looks rough in the middle. I think that's where Baker Creek is. I think it's in the middle. It, it looks like when it's done, because they're taking out so many trees, you're gonna have great sight lines. It, it, from almost anywhere. It, now it does now, if you're one of those people who likes my campsite, I'm covered in trees, I don't see anybody else, that's, that's probably not gonna be not gonna for be you. There. It really looks like they took out so many trees that, and, and probably just created better access. It's probably gonna be easier to back in and out. There's some pull through sites that got created. And even as it's kind of tiered up, you up know, kind of the hill. from the water, even those people are gonna be able to see the water and have access and light, sight lines. Yeah, um, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a lot better as it gets done. It's, but it's gonna be very open. Right. So I think that's something to, be, to think about as you're um, thinking about that one. I think it might be something we try Maybe next summer Maybe, yeah, in a year or, or in the fall. But, see, what, um, see what it looks like as they get the work done. Um, I, I, I would expect the sites to be larger than what they used to be. This is one of the a little bit older campgrounds, um, I think from the early 70s, I think. Um, and a lot of those campsites have really narrow sites because they didn't have the big rigs that we have now. Yeah, I mean, when they were built back so. then, you know, people just went in small pop-ups and things. Right. Now I will say that um, one of the, the cool things about Baker Creek and one of their big draws is if you are a mountain biker. Yes. If you're a biker, a countryside biker, I mean, I don't, there's not really mountains, yeah. but there are biking trails, um, 10 miles of biking trails that transverse the whole park. There's, there's a ton, a ton of trails and a varied degrees you can cut through and make it five mile or a seven mile or there's all these different ways to go and so that looked really cool it's not really our thing yep. but 
I think you know people do really like to mountain bike, and there's a lot, a lot of mountain biking there. Right, and you know, and because it is a lakeside, there is going to be some undulations, some hills, some valleys, and dips that you're going to be able to. to yeah, they said to make it, it a little more technical. Just it, has a, a really good reputation for that yeah. for that trail. It, the other thing that they had, well, they had a really nice swim shoreline. So right. if you were, you know, if you live close to this area, this would be a great day park. It had a lot of um, picnicy areas it had a great playground a nice big lawn nice big lawn down to a sandy beach um they also have a really big um pavilion pavilion. that's it they said it said 160 people uh right by the ranger station now it kind of sits up high so you've got a nice view view nice view of the water uh and and lake strom thurman so if you are you know you want to have a big party or you've got a big family i think that's a great a great resource for you too it's a great little park um and think that the RV sites are going to come along, um, but I do think it, they cleared a lot of land. So if you are, you know, looking for all that shade and trees, it, it's that's not going to be there. Yeah, talking to the ranger yesterday, she said that they have decided to close one of the old campgrounds completely and focus on the new one. And I think that that probably is a pretty good idea right now. You know, perhaps they can come back and reevaluate op- reopening that one with popularity camping today. But right now, they're putting their efforts into trying to get this campground right and. You know, I, I gotta say, as somebody who's, we've now visited 30 plus campsite, the campgrounds around the state of South Carolina, I'm glad to see some, they're, they're working on them. They're they, trying to make they them They did a better. lot of work on them. So, I, if, for people who are complaining and unhappy with the way it looks right now, please be patient. Come back and give them a second, chi- second try later on. I think it may be worth it. Yeah, I think so. So, later on, check out Baker Creek. Daddy's. Ooh, look at you.